on your mind bro wow you know <laughs> just uh i i think there's like a, a purity i don't know just uh, when the quran is recited uh that you don't normally see in any other type of recitation um i don't know i just felt like it's you know he's reciting these words and it's like just him and god and that's it and I'm just reciting. That's it. You know, nothing in the way, not trying to impress nobody or anything like that. And I I feel that, you know, I feel that 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 purity, that sense of genuine passion that just naturally comes out when there's no other distractions in somebody's mind. It's just I'm reciting the Quran, just me and God. And that is it. You know, that's just how I felt. That's my take on it. SubhanAllah. That's beautiful. And you find that with a lot of people when they first hear the Quran, like they don't know what they're, what's being said. You know, they don't right. have subtitles. They're just listening to it. And they're just, they just have this feeling of, of awe. Like, you know, this is beautiful. Especially yeah. with a reciter like that. Like, it's just, it's so smooth. It's so beautiful, SubhanAllah. And that's exactly how we were taught to recite it. That's exactly how we were taught to recite. The Prophet ﷺ, he recited it in a, in a melodious way. Uh, so, subhanAllah. Fayyad, bro, how do you feel? I'm good, man. I agree with uh, Brother Leroy. That's the thing. Like, I know in the episode, we talked a little bit about the fitrah, right? So, the Quran really is the word of God. It's the word of Allah, right? A lot of people think the Quran is just a book, right? But it's the word of Allah. So, of course, it's going to resonate with our fitrah. Right, we're gonna feel some type of way. It's not gonna be just, you know, you're not tearing up, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, I swear no. there's something in my eye, I promise. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't it, cry. It, what do you mean? I don't it, cry. <laughs> it'd it be like that sometimes with the Quran, bro. <laughs> yeah. But uh but that's the thing, bro. That's the thing. When when you play it, it just resonates within. There's this is something that a logical or philosophical, you know, point cannot go to necessarily right this this resonates with the heart 
So when you mentioned that it made it made you feel peaceful and and the reciter has a sense of authenticity, right? That it, it's not like uh, any type of ulterior motive or anything like that. Go into that. Like, how do you how does that just how do you feel that? Uh, it, it's hard to explain. I, I've been struggling to put language or words to this type of uh, uh, feeling, if you can even call it a feeling. But it's more so like I like. I just feel him as a person, you know, just as uh, a pure person. And then when when you add the, the words being recited, it's like you just pause and listen. <laughs> You're just taking it in, you know, like, wow, I have no idea how to describe it, how to put language to it. Uh, if I figure out what words to put to it one day, I'll definitely let you guys know. But it's it's something that's I can't fully describe. I just I I I feel him as a person and I feel the words. And it's beyond understanding what the words are. But you know, for for my case, you know, you guys had uh, us watching a video that had English subtitles. So I was able to follow along, but even without mm. the subtitles, it was just like, oh, okay. I got it. I'm I'm paused. And I'm just listening and standing there and taking it in. I don't know what I'm taking in, but I'm just taking it in. It, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't feel any anything outside of just peace and relaxation. I don't know. It's, what, uh, what is what is the closest thing you can compare this to? Okay, so have you guys been on a vacation and uh, just sitting on the beach, mm -hmm. just looking out in the, the sunset? peace yeah you know mm -hmm. not a care in the world you're just looking out into the water you know seeing the the sun just over the uh horizon as it's setting and uh you know it's, it's the sun rays are glistening over the water the breeze is blowing on the beach and you're at peace that mm -hmm. is probably the closest thing i can describe wow, wow. wow. that's beautiful that's truly really is beautiful it's like it's something that resonates deep within yeah yeah just, Kind of realize. Yeah. It's kind of love. Yeah. I want to, I wanted to touch on that point. Just like you said, it resonates from within. It's like when you see a sunset, people aren't debating, right? Like, is that a nice sunset or is it not a nice sunset? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> exactly. you're not, you're not, you're not in your head. So, that's so I think true. that's what you're getting at, right? Like when you see a sunset, there's, there's unequivocal, no doubt that when you look at it, you're just captivated by it. You're not even thinking about the logistics or the vicissitudes of the rays or the color temperature or nothing like that. Or yeah. You're not focused. I would even say you're shut off. You're unplugged from the dunya, right? When you see mm -hmm. a sunset. So it's kind of like that with the Quran. You're not analytical. It kind of just ungrounds you for a second and just yeah. captivates you fully. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's been I know my experience with uh, Quran recitations uh, for the most part, um, anyways. And yeah, this one w was honestly no no different. It's just it captivates you in that moment, and you're you're so right when you say that when people look at a, a sunset or something, they're not debating if this is beautiful or nice or good or bad or anything. It just is what it is. And everybody can just embrace that for it being what it is, you know?